Hello, hello, this is Anon Jr., and today we're playing on the Coffee Craft server. For today's episode, we're going to pick up relatively close to where we left off from the inaugural stream earlier this week, and we're going to do a little island cleanup. If you didn't get a chance to see the stream, uh, there's going to be a few clips in just a second, and there's the entire replay of the uh, first Season 1 stream in the Season 1 live, play live stream playlist. If you want to watch live, there's a link in the description below to Mixer and Twitch. I simulcast to both, and they have the current schedule in the stream's descriptions. All right, here's the clips coming up, and while you're watching that, I am going to run around here and clear up all these little crop farms and trees, because uh, we need to start planning things out a little bit better. Uh, as you'll see in the live stream, this is pretty much the uh, the the crop farm of opportunity and uh we'll reorg that well okay maybe we'll sleep first well hello hello and welcome to coffee craft second day in a row season one new year new server new member and all that good fun stuff let me uh unmute discord and say hello everybody hello, hello. everybody hey what's going on <laughs> All right, so we've got Medic, the newest member of the server, and we're getting ready to launch Season 1, where we log in and find out just how screwed we are in our starting spot. So, uh, <laughs> is everybody ready to log in? Three, I'm ready. two, one, click. Beep. Connecting. Joining. Ah! Spider. Zombie's coming for me already! Oh, no, 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 load, load the resources! Load the resources! Zombie! Ah! <laughs> <coughs> ah. Oh, shoot. I'm already down to four hearts. <laughs> yeah, I got a spider in my face. Woo! I got the first achievement of the server. <laughs> okay, All right. I'm here with a quick second. So, did uh, did anybody... Oh, shoot, I looked at the Enderman, didn't I? Oh, no, he's oh he's and happy. the Creepers, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we just spawned in on the Island of Death, and, and you, good sir, can kindly Ooh, go somewhere else. Ah! Stop! No! Oh, he blew. Oh, there's a boat <laughs> under here, though. We should do that anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's okay. I think we need tools. <laughs> well, uh, Medic and Arcadius are right over. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I thought this was family friendly, sir. <laughs> Dang! Wow, I got hit right out the jump. Yeah, <laughs> man. Hmm. Welcome to season one, medic, you tool. <laughs> well, I think I know who I'm pranking All first right. this season. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got a, uh, I've got a crafting table down by the oak tree. <laughs> are we seriously on a small island starting this? Yes, we yep. are. Whoa! All right. I am gonna make. Well, us that that does work all... out anyway, because uh, there are pillagers here, guys. Seriously? Already? The ow! Ah, no! Go away! Leave me alone! And I now have the first death of the season. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I it, lost it, that it, bet. It, I it, thought it was gonna be raised. Man, it. Oh, and there I goes our <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Where is everybody? Here, medic. Oh, oh, yes, ma'am. Look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Don't look at the Enderman. Oh, Anon. She's just trying to give us swords. Anon. Anon. <laughs> hang, hang on. I'm trying to pick up my stuff, <laughs> such as it was. Ah, now, eventually, what we're going to want to do is once we find the community center, we're going to want to absolutely flatten this island later game. Um, because uh, this go round, learning from last season, I don't want to put anything in the spawn chunks unless it's absolutely, absolutely necessary. Because uh, that was the source of a few of our lag issues, was having the iron farm and a couple other projects in the uh, in the always loaded zone. And did we ever figure out how far the always loaded zone is? 
Um, not yet. I was going to math it out once I could get a bunch of the uh, wiki entries to agree on what I should be looking for. Just, just go with the furthest one. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do we want to try our luck with the uh, the ice, or...? That looks like a small good. desert island over there. Um... You pick a cardinal direction and just boat up and go. Well, there was one direction that I thought that was I a band. saw. I'm surprised you know about them. Oh, <laughs> seriously. You just went there. <laughs> You're welcome. A few minutes later. <laughs> Ow. Bad right, there we go. I think that looks cute. That looks better. <laughs> We're in the middle of, of the initial survival, like, oh, what do we need to make the night? Uh, we need a furnace. We need There's a crafting table. We need food. We need saplings. Oh, this looks cute. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, important things. Yeah, yeah. Like a bed. That's what we need. We need a <laughs> stupid sheep to spawn here. Uh, I guess I should go ahead and start the uh, squid hunting early since there's a bunch of them over here. <laughs> if you start I, I have now, a funny feeling that somebody's going to want the uh, the black dye to immediately make the most expensive uh, base they can. Black is my favorite color. All right. While you're watching that stream, we went from this little setup here with these crop farms in the back and all these trees out the way to the end of the island. And we went from there to this. That's right. This is what we have after all that cleanup work. We've got our little starter shack still in place and pretty much as it was we're going to keep using that as our base of operations for the next little while until we get enough resources to do the, uh, the build that we want. We've got our little food storage out the back because we had all the farms over here that made it really uh, convenient to have those here. They will get moved as soon as we get some farms for each of these guys. Uh, we got a couple of melon slices from the community center, and we'll take a trip out there before too long. We've got some of the sweet berries that will get a nice little sweet berry farm going. It'll be a manual farm for now because I have yet to find a fox, and I don't think anybody else on the server has found any foxen either. Although, honestly, even if I did find them, I don't have the, the iron and redstone resources to make the rest of that work. So, all right, we're getting there. Early days. That, that's been one of the uh, joys and frustrations so far is that the joy is that it's something new and exciting and a chance to build differently. The frustration has been that, you know, I'm sitting here with these stone and iron tools and <laughs> that they're not fun. I, I miss my fully enchanted diamond gear. That's all right. That's what we got that little mine shaft down there for. Although he's going to move because it was convenient at the time with where everything was to just dig a dig a mine shaft right there in the middle of the island now that the middle of the island really isn't the best place for that i'm gonna have to move this guy somewhere so i, I might uh i might move that a little bit closer to the side of the house there maybe over by that side window and if i can find some soul sand and a river valley that'll be a little adventure uh for later uh i'll, I'll get a bubble vader going maybe up and down over here and get that to happen We've also got a couple of pigs, so the pigs and the sheep are going to go into an entity crusher, uh, similar to the way Waddles has his, and that, that, that was kind of my inspiration for this go-round. We also got our little chicken and egg farm over here. These guys lay down some eggs, and it collects in the barrel, and when it gets full, I grab a row of eggs and start tossing them back in, causing the entities to cram in the way Minecraft works. The oldest entities will die first when entity cramming takes effect. So that means the adult chickens will die, and I'll get some feathers and raw chicken out of it too. Unfortunately, a lot of them are in the air because uh, I put a trap door there, and that really should have been a solid block. Um, I was just a little short on solid blocks. Early games, folks. So we've got this guy who's probably going to stay there for now because I really don't feel like moving those chickens. Not, not at the moment. 
We need to find a home for our two entity crushers. We need to make space for a third. There are some cows in the fields over that way, and I would definitely like to get some steak and leather coming in from there. And we also want to get in a crop tower for those other vegetables. Uh, this is something that I built in the season before Season Zero, before we got serious about streaming and building and stuff, the season that we all got involved with uh, watching Hermitcraft videos. So I'm going to build a crop farm very similar to that. Matter of fact, now that I think about it, this might actually be the best place for it. I may have to build this island back out, but if I can set it up right over here, uh, maybe eight or nine across and then deep enough... Yeah, because that, that'll put the collection point over here, and then it's just pick up from the collection, dump into storage, and on my way. And I'll need to get uh, something going for the melon and pumpkin farm, too. I'm probably going to initially build the same far melon pumpkin farm I had in Season 0. Live streams are available on the channel, too. So if you want to get caught up with how we were doing things... Those are there as well. So I'm probably going to build the same melon and pumpkin farm that I did in Season 0. And in the meantime, I'll just find a place to drop a couple of rows of those guys just so that way we can get this done. And that island over there, you've probably noticed it looks a lot different now than it did from the live stream. That's because I've been shaving it down bit by bit. And once I round out the island a little bit better, I'm going to turn that into a manual tree farm. So if we can get to that today, great. If not, I'll probably start work on that on the live stream. If you want to watch live, there are links in the description below. And that's where I will also provide links to the Mumbo Jumbo and Waddles videos where they show off the farms that uh, we're going to do here. So first, let me move these sheep and block off some space for the crop farms. Although I probably should get the space for these guys where I want them just because uh, I hate moving them two or three times but ah well come on buddies over here get ready for your new home okay there they are alright just for the sake of having having stuff measured out a little bit the crop tower don't worry, I will put those torches back down. No panics. I am going to need column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a column. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, because if the waterfall's there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Actually, so the column needs to be there. That way the water drops there, and it'll all make sense a little bit later. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Ooh. The only downside to having this here is that I'm going to have to run some redstone over by the water. That almost never works out well. All right, maybe I'll uh, build out the shore between now and the live stream because uh, I don't think I'm going to get to this one today right now I just want to get the spaces marked off uh, for the upcoming projects I really wish I knew where I'd gotten the the original design for this farm because at the time I built it I wasn't in the habit of keeping bookmarks for all the different things I was building and uh, yeah kind of sad about that all right We've got that done, which might be uh, happening at the live stream. E yeah. On the upcoming live stream, I'm either going to be working on that guy right there, the lumber farm, because I need lumber for everything I'm doing, or uh, I'll start working on that storage issue. But first, we need to go ahead and put together our little chambers of joy. We're going to go down, yeah, this will be good enough for now. We're going to go down one, two, and 
we're going to get us a barrel. And we're going to get a hopper going into the back of the barrel. And we're going to get an upside down stair over that barrel. Now, you don't really need the upside down stair except for easier access. Waddle used it because he put a chest instead of a barrel, but I'm trying to save a little bit of lumber with the <laughs> with the two uh, with the two uh, the two slabs. All right, let's clear out this, and we're gonna get one and then two. So that is too deep. We're gonna need water. And that's really it. The water is going to cause them to bump up, bob up and down. All we got to do is walk up here, feed them, and then once they once they expand out, they'll entity cram in there. And uh, Bob's your uncle, and you get food. So let's go ahead and make two more of these. Actually, let's get the sheep in there, and then we'll get two more of those going. So, uh, come here, guys. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, come on, come on, get in there. They don't always cooperate. And we should have, all right, there those are. Beautiful. Now we needed the wall, so that way we can do that right there. And what that allows us to do is that stops them from bobbing up out of the farm. And that keeps us from falling into the farm. Because uh, I might have a history of that. Ooh, nap time. Then we'll be back. Okay, nap time's over. Back to work. Well, let's go ahead and let's go down two more. Let's get our barrel and our hopper and our upside down stair and let's get our building blocks might as well use the space that we got over there right and let's see if we can get these two pigs into the next one. Oh, almost forgot. Water. There's our water. I'm told that it's very important to make the sound effects while you, uh, <laughs> while you do stuff like this. Oh yeah, that's right. I got three pigs in there. All right. Oh, well, hopefully the other guy doesn't wander too far before I get them in. All right. All right. Through the magic of editing, that didn't take hardly any time at all. So we got a couple of sheep in here, we got three pigs in here, we got a couple of cows in here. That takes care of three of our major protein groups. Uh, at least the easiest ones to get going in this style farm. It's just going to take a little bit of time to, to get the population up. Uh, so I'm going to have to grab some wheat and carrots and get these guys squared away. It's going to take 24, if I remember correctly, before we start getting the cramming. So uh, give it a couple of nights, a couple of breeding cycles, and we will eventually be able to get these guys up to, up to capacity. So I'm going to need three of those, and I'm going to need uh, two for the cows, because there's only two in there, and two for the sheep, because there's only two in there, and then I can start worrying about getting the different farms marked out. And this is where these guys are going to go, all the way over here. There's our two there. There's our two there. And there's our three guys there. Aw, isn't that cute? Okay, let, let me get my leads and some dirt. And there's not going to be anything in there just yet. Don't know why I'm looking. And those fence posts will keep me from falling in. Sweet. 
I will have to build a structure over these guys before too long, maybe dress up that bottom section a little bit better so it's not just dirt. That will probably come a little bit later. If you missed the the uh, season starter or uh, the closer for season zero, you'll know that my specialty is making cool things, not necessarily making pretty things. Not that that wasn't a little bit of a clue, too. Uh, so that is my goal for season one, is to start working a little bit more on making pretty things as well. We'll see how far that goes. In the meantime, we've got our protein farms. We've got our high-end crop farms marked out. In the meantime, we need to get... We need to get some space cleared out and keep a manual farm for the time being. And there we go. We got storage for the last of our proteins. We're going to put all the uh, chicken in here as it collects pork and beef. And I'll get a mutton spot there as soon as I get some mutton. That is one of the few meats that I haven't collected yet. That gives us uh, easy access to our food storage. Also easy for anybody else who happens to be coming along. I'm probably going to replace that with the smoker that's inside. Maybe, maybe, possibly. All right, so that takes care of the first couple of deals that we were going to do this episode. We're okay, nap time's over. Let's go ahead and get this squared away. So we'll do... Oops, I forgot that I got to get this stuff watered too. So we'll do a row of wheat, a row of carrots, a row of potatoes... And then some hydration. Yes, I know you don't have to do a complete trench for proper hydration, but right now it escapes me exactly how much I need for each. And quite frankly, I've got to make sure that, uh, that I get something going quick. And believe it or not, this is quicker. For the moment, at least. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that, we'll get that, we'll get our water going. Hooray for endless water sources. And we'll do another one, two, three. And then we just need the melons and pumpkins, right? Right. All right, so let's get these going here. <laughs> impressive farm yet but that is going to come that'll keep us in wheat carrots and potatoes melons and pumpkins for the time being once we get those guys bred up to capacity and they start entity cramming we'll be good on the proteins i left this open here for the moment so i could show that uh, instead of leaving an open water trench which is easy to fall in and jump on top of your uh crafting stations, or sorry, crafting stations, your crops, I went ahead and took some slabs, and if you put in a top slab, it stays waterlogged, which hydrates the land, and you can run up and down it without ending up in, although that does become a problem. There we go. In this way, you don't have to worry about falling in. You can also get some torches on here too. So that way, uh, two, three, four, five, six. You can keep some light on the crops as well. And we'll get one at either end. Yeah, the torch spam is going to have to, something's going to have to happen without that too. We'll get there one step at a time. I miss my guardian farm from uh, season zero though. Well, not my guardian farm, Arcadius's guardian farm. He was just kind enough to let us use it. All right, so 
with that done, this is where I come here and I say thank you for joining. Uh, hope you ha hope you had fun. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that good fun stuff that I know how you <laughs> that that I know you know how to do on YouTube. And uh, definitely subscribe to get notified. The plan this year is to add some other videos as well. So season zero, we just did the live streams, uploaded the the live streams, and that was about the sum total of it. This year. I'm going to continue uploading the live stream archive so you can keep up with those if you don't have the opportunity to watch live. And I'm going to start producing shorter videos like this where I go over little projects here, there, different builds, and eventually, probably in another month or two, I'm going to start adding some Redstone Basics videos and that sort of thing. Definitely subscribe to keep tabs on that. Rest is going to be joining for those videos as well. So we got to work out the scheduling. And you keep hearing about the live stream. If you want to join, I simulcast to Twitch and Mixer currently, and there are links in the descriptions below. So if you want to watch live, definitely go to your platform of choice, subscribe, follow, whatever the appropriate nomenclature is for the one that you're looking for. And uh, either way, I will see you next time.